All right, let's go ahead and get started. I'm ready. I don't want to wait any longer. I know very little about the game other than it looks great. I, did, you know, it's it's all about mysteries, so I wanted to go in knowing as little as possible. Always a good sign, starting with a, a magic tome of arcane knowledge. Cute. They're talking straight at us. The 3D graphics. Mm -hmm. right. There's something I have to do first. Yeah. Okay, human, listen up. First, I'll have you select your difficulty. Choose wisely. Complain mm -hmm. about it later, and I'll boom kill ya. Boom kill. Oof. Now then, display the options. This is quite cute. I like this. Ooh, lenient, mean, troublesome, adorable. <laughs> Uh, I assume lenient is like a normal. I'll, I'll play normal. That seems fair. Oh, you sure about that? Don't say I didn't warn you. Uh oh, getting called out already. You want to know what difficulty that is? Yes, please. The one you selected is how difficult yours truly will be on you. I'll okay. Be as difficult with you as you wish. Ooh, yes. So I hope you're ready. Yes, please. No, to be honest, it's all the same no matter what you pick. <laughs> I'm your lenient, mean, troublesome, adorable partner, after all. Yeah. So, are you ready? I'm pretty sure one of the other thing, real? only things I know about this is she's got a human start? form with Seriously? For real? Uh, attributes, if you know what I mean. Are you really sure about this? Yep, seriously. I like the charm of the game so far. I'm a big fan. Sounds like you're just dying to solve some mysteries. Yes. You just can't wait to go on adventures with me, yes, right? Yes, please. Even my cat is here. <laughs> Humans are so weird. You know what I mean, Mama. Big now, attributes. Let's get this started. It's time to embark on my lovely, thrilling, wonderful mystery solving mm. adventure. Let's go! Well, so far I like this character. You know, the mascot characters can really go either way with their personalities. Uh, but this is nice so far. She seems charming in a good way and not not overly so. Oh, yeah. Train mystery right from the beginning? Fuck yes. Fuck yes. So excited. This is like I've been looking forward to this game as much as I've been looking forward to like Tears of the Kingdom and stuff. I I've just been so into it. I'm so ready. All right, so got it. I'm trying. I'm already looking for stuff. I'm already looking. You never know what's important. It could be the tiniest thing, the tiniest detail. What's going on? Okay. W wait. I love that his little huh? special Where protagonist hair bit is a question mark. That's really cute. Oh. What? Hmm. The mysteries are already starting. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh. Why? How? Okay, we got full voice acting. Okay. I guess that makes my job a little easier. I can't remember anything. Hmm. Classic protag syndrome. 
Do I have... What was it called? Amnesia? Ah. The curse. The protagonist's curse. Take a deep breath. You know you've got amnesia when you can't remember what amnesia is. Deep breathing. Just like my son when he gets mad that the tablet game's not working. Just deep breaths. It's okay. I know, the music is so dong and wrong, but it just needs like a like a weird saxophone or like electric guitar solo that's going a little too hard um and it's super dong and rumba dang it i can't remember anything where so, am i this guy's really cute I? I like him why can't i remember inside your pocket <gasps> uh -huh. Uh -huh. check your belongings open your inventory Use the plus button to open your inventory. Am I hearing things too? I lost my memories and now I'm hearing things. What's going on? This guy's very relatable. He's he's handling this the way anybody should. Oh, what now? He's not just accepting the craziness. Can't catch a break, huh? Check my belongings. Hmm. Uh -huh. An envelope. Ooh. Notice. World Detective Organization. Human Resources. World Detective Organization Human Resources. Dear Yuma Coco Head. Coco. You are here by staff to the special <laughs> autonomous zone of Kana War. Okay. Dispatch duration indefinite. indefinite. Are we dead? Use the enclosed ticket to board the Amaterasu Express to Kana War. Okay. The master detectives. The master detectives on site. Upon arrival, proceed to the nocturnal, nocturnal detective, detective agency. agency. World detective organization. We all know what these words are. These are words we we hear them every day. That's why they're that's why they're not elaborating. If you have to ask, just drop just drop out of chat. We don't we don't need your stragglers here wondering what all these words are. Go forth, proud detectives. Eliminate, Eliminate all mysteries. All mysteries from this world. You know We're going to figure out who God people? is. What God is. Yuma Coco Head. That's my name? <laughs> Thinking on it. I guess that <laughs> sounds right. Yeah. That's a super Japanese name. Coco that's Head. right. I finally remember. My name is Yuma. Yuma. I'm Yuma, Yuma Coco Head. Yuma Coco Head. You guys, you all my cocoa heads. And I'm a cocoa head. I'm a yo cocoa head. Here it is. Oh, there's the splash screens we all want to see. Yeah. Ultimate amnesiac. But what's this about a world detective organization? It sounds significant. Hmm. Am I a part of it? If that's the case. Am Do we have I a past detective? as a detective? Maybe. Are we gonna solve our own murder? That'd be really fun. I guess these kind of look like a detective's clothes. It seems I was supposed to get on a train, or at least I think so. Master detectives. detectives. Am I one of them? Are we? Is it the Donkarama? Everyone's got an ultimate. You know, everyone's got an ultimate ability. Uh, are we gonna play as the so ultimate lucky detective? Are we going to be the ultimate mystery detective? Because there's always one of those in the games, too, where you never... Their, their ultimate was a mystery. Here's the ticket. Let's check the schedule. Hey, it's almost time. Well, oh, no. I should get on that train. I'll find out more about myself if I meet someone who knows me. That's right. That's how it works. Attention! <gasps> okay. Uh, okay. We've got camera, characters, before rushing off the train... I will detect. I am a detective. I will detect. Good Brooklyn Nine-Nine reference. Before rushing off to the train, let's start with basic controls. Walk around and explore the room. Oh yeah, I recommend moving the camera around to explore the surroundings. Places with examination marker can be inspected. Make sure to investigate areas of interest. You can skip, uh, you can fast forward or auto advance through dialogue. Cinematics can be skipped. Cool. Detective. 
let's earn DP. Really? That's that's what you went with? I can't wait to earn myself some real DP in this game. I'll be even more excited when I see some of the characters whom I can redeem my DP with. Detective points, or DP, that's what we're calling them, can be earned by conducting detective abilities like investigation and gathering info. Earning DP fun. increases your detective rank. Maybe something cool will happen when the rank goes up. Don't you forget. I don't get like a little Monokuma, uh, like Tamagotchi. Exclamation point icons in the main map morph the next object objective and our people to talk with. Cool. Yeah. Oh, we've advanced beyond just screens to click on. We can move our character legitimately. A toy robot? Hmm. It looks sturdy. The lost, items. lost items. Interesting. Okay, give me, give me my DP. I am that thirsty for my DP. Looks. A lot of stuff has been placed here. Yeah. Okay, we got books. We got hats. Umbrellas. It's rain code. Because of the rain. What up, Teach? Hey, Jabroni man. What's going on? All's well. Phrasing. Don't worry about it, man. Don't worry about it. We don't worry about phrasing here. We're just accepting our horniness. We're accepting the innuendos. And which innuendo is the DP going to go into? At least two of the endos. At least two. Why are there so many umbrellas? The label reads lost items, temporary storage. You gotta keep yourself dry in the rain code world. Even more. Hmm. There's something in the back, but I can't get through with all the things in the way. Oh, classic video game logic. You could move that. Stuff might fall if I try to move it. Oh no, I better not go back there. Oh yeah. Alright. I think we've examined... Ooh, we got one more thing in here. Cardboard box. This is... There's a cardboard box here. I can peek inside through the hole. But it's too dark to make anything out. Yeah. Don't bother, uh... Don't bother opening up the box. I get it. The place where I was sleeping was in fact... A supply closet. Stations lost and found, a pawn shop, gym storage. Well, this seems like a lost and found. Right. Bunch of shit. Sleeping in a station's lost and found section. Yeah. But why was uh, my detective points. Oh. oh, my DP is rising. But why was I sleeping here? Did I faint? Or was I attacked? If so, then who did it? Mm hmm. Attention passengers departing this station direct to Kanai Ward. Okay, that's where we're heading. That's our train. Quick, pass that NPC. They're too boring to be someone of note. They're not dressed interesting enough. They don't have scarves and belts and piercings and hairdo that makes them stand out. So they're clearly ignorable. Look at all these. Look at these non-players. It's like they're in a different game. I love a good train setting. A train setting is so much fun. Movies, games, books. It's isolated. It's closed off. So, like, the, sh the shenanigans either are limited or they have to be really creative. I'm a big fan of trains. My son likes trains as well. Thank you for I think a lot of kids like trains. I wonder if that's still a thing kids like nowadays. Our train utilizes Amaterasu Corporation's state-of-the-art technology for an automated, safe, and comfortable service. It's just like uh, who killed the Sonic the Hedgehog. We got a magic techno train. Thank you for your understanding and support. There's no crew. Automatic? Okay. So 
Somebody's driving this hmm. thing. This train has five cars. It will operate non-stop to its destination. Okay. Food and beverages are available in car two. Restrooms are available in car one and car five. In case of an emergency, visit the backup control. Okay, I have a feeling that's going to be important. So when shit hits the fan, we're going to the middle. And hope we don't have to pee. So this is uh, a mystery game. Uh, it's called uh, Master Detective Archives Rain Code. Um, it's, I believe it's made by the same people who did um, Danganronpa, or Danganronpa, however you want to, however you want to pronounce it. Um, if it's anything like those games, um, there are going to be mysteries that you have to solve, murders typically, um, and you scour the area finding little pieces of evidence and you put it all together uh, and solve the mystery solve the puzzle and it's always ridiculous in no way is it logical um, in no way would anybody actually murder somebody like this uh, but that's what kind of makes it fun you have to like really train your brain to it the first little bit of it it takes a lot of getting used to because it doesn't make any sense but then after a little while something clicks and you're like, oh, I have to start using, like, other parts of my brain and, like, turn off your, like, suspension of disbelief um, to, like, understand what's going on. And it's a lot of fun. Once you once you get into the zone of it, it's really, really good. I didn't get into Danganronpa until, like, a couple years ago. Um, and then uh, they had the trilogy came out on the Switch. And I went through... The second and third one, and I love them so much. They're so much fun. They're so stupid and awesome. Stupid and awesome. Uh, they're just fun games. So there are five cars. This must be car one at the front. If this is half as good as the Danganronpas, I'll still be a very happy man. I better find the other detectives and meet up with them. Usually, like one of the things they do to make things more interesting is most of the characters have like special abilities it, they're basically god maybe not gods but they're superheroes uh, and they all have like something that makes them very special so like in the old Danganronpas someone was the ultimate baseball player or the ultimate psychic or the ultimate uh, like wrestler or something like that um, so you have to use all these things about like who they are and it's like well this would be impossible but would it be impossible if this person were the ultimate hacker or would this be possible if this person like was the ultimate entomologist or something like that when then you have to bring that into the picture oh i'm, I'm glad you're gonna you're gonna settle in with me jabroni or i think we're gonna have a grand old time i'm i'm super pumped i'm so excited um all right so let's see we've got a notebook the notebook menu has features and info useful for investigations when info gets updated it'll be marked with new Okay, so when we get new evidence, we'll be able to look it over at any time, which is important. In case files, you can see an outline of the ongoing case and next objectives. Whoa, this stuff's vital. And save, look, okay, save and look. Definitely want to remember this. All right, we can save whenever. Master, ooh, master, ooh, I have a title. Kinky. I was able to walk around freely, but there are some exceptions, so be careful. In options, game settings can be adjusted. All right, cool. All right, let's... Let's get to let's get to Sleuthin. Guide map. It's a map of the train. Okay, perfect. Can I take a picture of this? Ooh. Uh, the train. Ooh, my Duncan Rumpa juices are fucking flowing now. Ooh, I can see all the crazy nonsense that's gonna happen here. It's gonna be like you assumed that the cars actually went one, two, three, four, five. But in reality, uh two of them were side by side the whole time. And you could get from car one to three. Oh, oh, so excited. First and last cars can control the train. The rest are passenger cars. Okay. Well, let's go with what they say. Let's let's assume it goes one, two, three, four, five. Yes, his hair is a question mark. It's so good. <laughs> the, des the designs are going to be fun. I'm so excited to meet the rest of the characters. So we've got a dining car. Rooms in the three... 301, 302, backup control room, 401, 402, 403, 
restroom infirmary, restroom infirmary. All right. So cars one and five are basically mirrors of each other. Three and four are similar mirror, are kind of the same, and two is a dining car. Okay. It helps to talk things out. I, I'm a, I'm a, I talk my way through these games. It says main control room A. Okay. Door's locked. It won't open. Makes There's sense. Driver seat inside, but no one's there. That's right, because it's crewless. That must be the automatic operation device. Okay. My DP is rising as it should. Get a good restroom here. There's a sink and toilet inside. This must be the restroom. Okay. No one Unisex, right very nice. Can I go? Yeah. Okay, so we're moving. Mm. Alright, so my theory that there's another car side by side with this one, not true for this side. The restroom window looks fixed in place, so it can't be opened. I don't see any of the detectives through the window. Time to move on. Ooh. Mm. I can see my reflection. No, you can't. Perfectly polished mirror. I'm still not used to it. Used to it. Is this really my face? That's a pretty good face, man. I've seen worse faces. It's this is me. this is anime. You could be a lot uglier. Hello, anyone there? Guess there's no one here. And we get we get points for everything. Is there like a run button? Not yet. Okay, infirmary. I see a clean looking bed. This is probably the infirmary. Everybody, take mental notes. Because we're gonna, I, I, no this inside. is gonna be fun to solve solve things together. There's no one inside. Okay, so this is gonna take us to the next thing. Uh, yeah, so that should take us to car two. It says main control. Main control B. Doors, doors locked and won't open. I see a driver's seat in there, but no one's inside. Mm -hmm. There's a machine, but it's not on. So maybe, depending on which way the train's going, uh, the, m the machine operates with different ones. On like, it switches. Train. I think that means they can go in either direction. We're thinking this is going to keep my brain alive. I kind of sounded like a real <gasps> detective there. That means I sound like a real detective, according to this amnesiac. Huh? Someone's there. <laughs> I heard a voice behind the door. Yes. Yes, yeah, show me weirdos. Show me the freaks. <gasps> oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Which one of you is the pervert? That one. We got tough guy. We got weird guy. We got little girl. We got flirty girl. And we have old man. This is great. All the... Everybody I needed to see. Come on. You are, right? You're master detectives, aren't you? So all these guys, if it's anything like Danganronpa, they're all going to have, like, special detective powers. Like, they'll be able to do, like, picture-perfect, like, recreations of crime scenes and stuff like that. But who are you? Okay, we got Animal Boy. I like you so far. Um, I'm with you. I'm also a master detective of the hmm. world detective organization. A boy like you. Oh, I like your makeup. Master detective of the WDO. She's cool. I like her design so far. I like everybody's so far. Seems like it. Are you going to be our new Gundam Tanaka? Because so far, I mean, that's the highest bar. Is is topping Gundam Tanaka from Danganronpa like 2. Hell, yeah, there's the tough guy. Yeah. A runt like you, a master detective? You're just you don't know me. Mouth off. Look like a shriveled ant eater. <laughs> ant eater? <laughs> That's a logical response. You got a lot of nerve posing as a master detective. Want to die right here, right now? Wait, Not when I just started the game. I can die after the game's over. Detective. A letter hmm. from the World Detective Organization. He doesn't have a tail, so that he could be more animally, but his ears do twitch, so that's a good sign. 
it's real. There's no mistake. No mistake. It. What? Are you serious? Looks like there's a reason behind this. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and tell us. I'll allow it. Right. Thank you. But there's really not much hmm. to explain. Oh, okay, we're we actually are just explaining things. Okay. That's fine. And that's what happens. Saves time. Amnesia. Amnesia. Looks that way. You must be a protagonist. I was one of you would know who I am. Wonder if they're all dead too. Am I on the am I the only dead one? We're on the same team, but no one knows me? Then who am I? That's the mystery. Besides, even if the letter is real, you may not be the right recipient. Why do you hmm. suspect me? There is a reason why. Okay, but yeah, first, yeah, yeah. Do you know what the World Detective Organization is all about? Detecting. Um, a little bit? I think I remember a little. <laughs> or not. Guess not. Yeah, fill me so in. You called yourself a member without even knowing. My, my DP is high enough. You, got, you two boys can fill me in now. Sorry. Well, I suppose it's a master detective's duty to shepherd the lost. Animal puns. Gotta Very love well. them. I'll tell you. Maybe you'll regain your memories after hearing what I have to say. Ooh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, his style. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta talk. All right, old man. <laughs> hmm. Okay, well, I was hoping for a little bit more. What? Hmm. <laughs> Tough guy. Oh. Uh, makeup girl. What is it? And small child. Nothing. Okay. Come on, animal. Listen up. The World Detective Organization is, is... an extra legal, extra privileged organization <laughs> devoted to eradicating the world's unsolved mm. mysteries. In real in real life, I don't think I'd be super uh, super thrilled with this. But, you know, this is anime. It'll all work out. Certainly nobody here will be uh, abusing their power, right? Their branches exist throughout the world. Okay. Their investigations are handled by master detectives. So we As are specifically now, to the Kanai there are roughly Org? 1,000 master detectives in the WDO. See, they all have powers. All I knew it. powers specializing in investigative work. Powers? They are supernatural powers. Yes. In investigation, yes. Known as forensic fortes. <laughs> oh. People who develop oh, it feels good to be back. Clairvoyant or mind reading. Mm -hmm. They train at the organization to harness these special powers, which aid in their investigations. Those who manage to gain a forte are recognized as master detectives mm. and given a detective team. So does that mean we have one? Because we've been recognized in some which way. Which means, if you're a master detective. It should say so on your license. Mm hmm Detective Deed? It's an identification card. Check your pockets. I Where's my ghosts girl? One. She sh she needs to be here for this. If you don't have a detective deed, you ain't one of us. I gotta prove myself first. If you've got one. I suspect it's fake anyway. Oh, hold on. I'm not trying to trick anyone. Oh, yeah, I'm I'm too meek. He seems to be the only one accused of being an imposter. But how about the rest of Yeah, you, you guys are off uh, acting awfully, if you know, you suspicious as well. Some sort of proof, then the same would apply to everyone here. What's more suspicious than blaming someone else? Huh. The hell did you just say? She's right. Everyone here has just met for the first time. Mm -hmm. Naturally, we would doubt one another. Yeah, the old man's not even wearing a u like a like a uniform. Everyone else seems to be color coordinated in some way. He's the weird one, not me. Oh, and he's old. The first time. Stupid so old people. You guys don't know each other? Master detectives rarely meet together. We each travel the world on our own, solving cases. I've never seen so many. So we're gonna be able to like work together? Like are these cases so crazy? They're gonna need. We're gonna need all of them. About to start introductions. Then you walked in. Hmm. I see. Well, 
Let's start the introduction. Yeah, give me the splash cards, baby. The ones well. What? You still want to do introductions? <laughs> With the imposter too? Oh man, this guy is so like Mondo and Fuyuhiko. Just that ang angry man. It's vital for us to ascertain each of our Throw some curse words forward. in there and, and we got our we got our archetype filled. All the more reason due to this perplexing circumstance. circumstance. Perplexing circumstance? What does he mean hmm. by that? Now, let's begin. Here we go. All right, Animal Man first. I'll go first. Zilch. Allow me to introduce myself. <laughs> I am Zilch Alexander. Ooh, that's ooh, what a name. I was making fun of Tears of the Kingdom the other day because they had weird sounding names like off rack and, and shit like that but this is on another level i don't know if anybody's watching uh the anime mashal or mashley i don't know how to, mashal is what i'm calling it uh of magic and muscles but everyone in that show also has names that are kind of like this like abyss razor and like innocent zero and shit like that it's great it's so stupid and it, en it endears me quite a bit. Yeah. Zilch Alexander. I like you so far. I like animals. Okay, he also has an eye thing. That, that might be important. Everything might be important. I'm just going to keep saying that. Detective agency. They call me Ooh. Nature's mediator. He... <laughs> the Southern Forest Preserve District. I like you I so far. People nature and the harmony between them are you our weirdo because weirdos are always my favorite However, in these games there are times when some would attempt to ruin that harmony <laughs> my specialty is in handling those people there are times when some would attempt to ruin the harmony okay you heard of the chain of mysterious murders surrounding the dam construction hmm. at Solis Lake. so you take care of like activists being murdered or murders that could affect environmental issues. That's pretty cool. I like you a lot, Zilch. They look cool, but they must suck at detecting with that name. Yeah, hopefully Zilch is like his level of like fucks given and not like the, not his DP points. I bet he's got a very high DPometer. He's got to be a, he's a master detective. He's, he will detect. Rumor has it that one by one, everyone, everyone involved, involved, the dam's construction mm. died, all cursed by sunken ritual site interesting it was a once in a century difficult case Ye. the one who solved it was okay none so you've, other than you've got some some clout to you already you've there got something behind your name it. the culprits were locals who wanted the right to the dam for themselves the strange part is that all 52 villagers were Ooh. In it. they all kept their lips that's tough shut to protect the secret 52 people working in unison can barely get like five people to work together in this room. I'll let you figure out what that means. Is there like a log for? Because that's usually important for these games. It's so simple. Oh, okay. I accidentally opened a menu further than I thought. Okay, a glossary you can review in game terms and check tutorials. Okay. When harmony between man and nature is disrupted, disrupted. disaster strikes. Mm. That is one thing I have learned as a detective. Nature's as long as the disa nature. disasters are nature striking the humans, I think I'll be happy. Nature is nature is too neutral, and and I like nature more. Though he suspected me, he still gave me a fair chance to explain myself. Mm -hmm. He looks a bit intense, but. Maybe he's, he's a softy. He's 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 a fuzzy little thing. I'll describe my forte as well. Okay. I'm uncomfortable exposing classified information regarding investigators, but this is an okay. emergency. So it's okay. So something is happening. My forte is animal investigation. You are the new Gundam Tanaka. You're not nearly eccentric and weird enough, but I'll give you time. I don't think anybody I can, can top him. Animals as I wish. And recruit them from my Ooh, so you can like ask Quite birds what happened and stuff that I am. and like all like the 
the thing they always do in shows where it's like, ooh, these flies are attracted to blood and stuff like that. Uh, that's super cool. Okay, I love this. In many ways. I mainly use it to gather intel. Mm -hmm. It allows me to survey a target while remaining undetected. Okay, a little spy. As a basic rule, I can only control four-legged mammals. Okay. Less intelligent animals are easier to control. Okay, so no, no birds then. And only control mammals, four-legged mammals. Use mice. They're the perfect animals for undercover investigation. Doggos. Unfortunately, I can't show it off right now because there aren't any mice. You don't carry mice around with you. What kind of prepared detective are you? You should have a little mouse around you. Not only is he a good detective, but he also has those powers. He really is impressive. I'm impressed. That is all from me. With love, <laughs> I yield to the next person. Okay, so you're you're a weirdo. And I'm digging it. Um, let's do Angry Man. I'm Apex Logan. Apex Logan? Detective branch in the eastern <laughs> slums. Oh, I'm going to laugh at all these, aren't I? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're also a little weird. But you're more of the angry guy persona. We can we can mix angry and weird together. Now, but I'm originally a broke illegal immigrant. Ooh, okay, a little little backstory. When I was a kid. I was in an upstanding home, living an upstanding life. My parents were lawyers who never tolerated injustice. They should have left well enough alone with that local mafia. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, bring in the gangs. Because they went after him, they were murdered. <laughs> Their necks were cut open right in front of me. Don't think about it, Jabroni. That's the more you think about it, the less sense it makes. Some some things have like purpose, and it's like, oh, that's why they he's covering his head because of his past shame and or something like that. And sometimes it's just like, how can we make a character just stand out? So far I'm I'm leaning more towards the latter. Okay, so his parents were murdered in front of him. That's to protect myself and jumped on a ship at the port. Excellent backstory. I didn't know where the ship was going. That was the moment I threw away my past and my home. Okay. I drifted to the slums and did everything I could to survive. I managed to survive until now. Thanks to luck. Okay, but what's your special ability? I need to know your ability. With my natural talents, I was able to become a detective. Yes, revenge. revenge. Love a good revenge story. I can't stand evil. But even if you ain't evil, I'll show mm. no mercy to those who stand in my way. If I, I can't like this figure guy. out the difference between the good guys and the baddies, then I just beat up both of them. Yeah. Kill or be killed is my motto. This is great. Oh, I know he's a I know he's a dick bag, but he's just a bag full of dicks. But I, I like him a lot. <laughs> he looks scary, but that's not all. He, he does have some Bruce Wayne vibes. He looks scary, but that's not all. I think there's a deep sadness with him. Oh, that's why I'm resonating with him. Because he's depressed. I can't share details about my forte. Just know it's kind of like Rhaegar. Ooh, okay. That's all you're going to tell us? You got Interesting. a problem with that, you tiny runt? Not at all. Oh, there's the there's the Japanese uh, hooligan hooligan pose pose pose. You sure are a frail looking kid, aren't they you? They do the that, that thing a lot, like the look down at you. Fucking nerd. Pale to boot, like disaster's got its claws on ya. Yee. You sure nothing weird is haunting you? No way. Oh, we've got we've got a ghost haunting us. I know we do. Tough. How about a little training? First, you'll need to get used to stab wounds. We'll start with a nice pick, <laughs> scissors, and a fruit. Oh, look at th okay, you're weird too. Oh, no thanks. Yes. Shy, runt. No, really, I'm fine. I like the tough guys in the games too. Too bad. It's because I'm such a tough guy. I just. 
you know, we're, we're drawn to each other. Big masculine features, big, big you know, the, the strong personalities. Uh, uh, let's do one of the girls. Let's do, uh, let's do you. Hey, young man. Oh, oh, I love, oh, look at her cool earring things. Those are really neat. And you're like, undercut? Excellent design. Excellent. That's right. Come here. Stand before me. What a queen. Why? Uh, whoa. You. Okay. Don't know how to feel about uh, that just yet. Um. <laughs> Stay still for just a second. Yeah. I'll be quick. When's somebody gonna touch me like this? Thank you. That was quite educational. That outfit fits you well. Okay. More the reason that I'm a real member. Of the of the detectives. My home is rather far north than here. Melamy Goldmine. Oh man, these fucking names. These names. Up there is a branch with detectives adept at spiritualism. Spiritualism. Yes. Was also active there as a awesome. Ah, oh, she does stuff with dead people's spirits. This is great. This is so good. Yeah, she she's great. Yeah. This is gonna. Oh, there's so many, so many shenanigans, shenanigans and hijinks. Still waiting. Summon a soul. Anyone who has died, like for example, the victim of a crime. Yes, of course. I told you. I I think this was one of my examples was that they can just talk to a dead person and talk to the victim. I'm on it. I'm on my game. One condition. I require the clothes that person wore while they were still alive. Oh yeah. This is this is uh this is fat bait right here. This is 100% fan service. Oh no, the hot girl has to dress in weird clothes so another person can inhabit her body. Oh no. Only by wearing their clothes can I summon their soul. It's awfully specific superpower. Smaller than me, or if the person is far bigger. Overall, the size must match. Okay. Also, I can't abide outfits with no fashion sense. <laughs> Filthy, reeking clothes are always out of oh, the question. Oh. So I guess you don't solve like poor people murders then. That sounds more like a preference than a condition. Clothes Who's to say? This are these superpowers are weird. They, the clothes she can only summon a dead body if the clothes fit that's already a weird preference our condition why not make it even more conditional clothes make a man they reveal all about one's livelihood like skin worn over skin Ooh, that's some serial killer talk maybe i don't get spiritualism i'm too logical my brain i'm too much of a scientist all, all i know is that she's hot that's what my spirit's telling me. Consider that when compared to bare skin, clothing has a greater surface area seen by other people. Okay. Therefore, clothes are an expression of a person's identity that's true. and originality. Absolutely. And that's that's why you look so cool. You ever think about how you've never heard of ghosts being naked? I have never thought of that actually. That's a good point. Ghosts wear clothing because those clothes are a part of their identity. Well, what if they died naked? Does a does a dead naked person become a a naked ghost? I've never seen that in any of the shows. Zach Baggins, get on it. I need to know if naked ghosts exist. Now that you mention it. That's why, despite your amnesia, I can tell the kind of person you are just by looking at the clothes you wear. Mm -hmm. What do you, what do you know about me? Undoubtedly an official one supplied by the yes, see, she knows. She knows. She knows we're legit. It fits you perfectly after measuring your size. I don't think it could possibly belong to someone else. Yes. Which means you can trust me. I am a master detective? Am I one or not? I 
can't figure it out without my memory coming back to me. That's all I we gotta to trust say. ourselves. I'm the medium detective Melanie. Melanie Goldmine. Nice to meet you all. She's great. Big fan. Uh, let's do old man. We'll save. We'll save little girl for last. This guy's about to pass away, so we gotta get I it done quicker. Oh. I come from a detective agency on the front lines. Far from Zonge Eraser. Okay. She is like Spawn Sean Spencer, you're right. Love some good psych. Alright, what's your deal? That I must do something. Perhaps what that I do though. An introduction, but I have nothing to say. Let the past melt like ice in an evening stream. That's <laughs> how I live my life. My forte is photography. Thought. I can transcribe images from my <laughs> memory onto electronics. Can try. Okay, I need. All the other ones make sense. Like I can, I can do stuff with animals. Uh, radar. Uh, talk to the dead and photography. I'm pretty sure photography is pretty big on TikTok. There's thoughts over there, and there's thoughts over there. The whole thing is thoughts are everywhere. I can transcribe images from my memory onto electronics. That's all for me. So you Don't remember something, and you can like you you have photographic memory. Is that just a fa that's a way of saying that? Yeah, no one would look at this guy and say, that is a ordinary, regular man. Look at this regular old man. Nothing extraordinary about him. He, that man is all extra. An introduction. Introduce myself. Okay. A subjective observation of one's We've got our logic girl. Explained objectively. Something like our Chiaki from the last game. Or the hacker from the first Danganronpa. Subjective observation of one's own self-image explained objectively. Uh, are you okay? Did I do something that caused you concern? Uh, no, it's just you seem mm -hmm. to be having difficulty introducing yourself. I really it is hard to introduce yourself. Have you ever act? So when was the last time you had to introduce yourself? To Weird. Uh-oh. She's getting a little too deep. All I am is a bundle of nervous tissue reacting <laughs> to external stimuli. Oh, yeah. Speak my language. I, to, I guess I'd call myself Poochie Labman. Oh, yeah. Talk dirty to me, Poochie. <laughs> hey, Mama's playing Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. All right. So everybody's got really interesting eyes. I wonder what that so, means. Your name is Poochie, then. Names are meaningless. A method of arbitrary labeling for self-recognition. Symbols for categorization. Nothing more. Well, categorization and symbol, uh, those are all very important things. Humans naturally categorize and classify things. But Our brains are, like, really good at it. That's what we're always doing, looking for patterns and Besides, classifications. Poochie, the lead. Serves the same prayer. Okay. She's but in a cute, quirky kind of way, guy, she's a manic pixie know, detective girl, I guess. Most of the World Detective Organization's work is investigating unsolved mysteries. Mm -hmm. I was trusted with many bureaucratic investigations. My clients are mainly enterprises and politicians. Lame. Depending on the client, I use my forte to see if the transaction party is trustworthy. So we can detect trust. My forte is known as audio aptitude. Audio aptitude. When I concentrate, I can hear anything from distant whispers, footsteps, and even hmm. heart. Okay. So we got super hearing. No one is safe to speak of this. So she could probably I, figure out if someone's in a rush, figure out if someone's heartbeat is increased, detect lying. Uh Check for pulses, stuff like that. So this is this has some good utility. Good utility here. Oh, then did you hear anything suspicious at the station? 
Maybe we can figure out what happened to me. Unfortunately, unless I focus my efforts on listening, I'm unable to hear. Yeah, we're on a moving train, my dude. How much? How, how much? How, how great is she gonna be at oh, listening to someone I in a see. station building so far away? Constantly listening in on all sounds leads to a sensation of my physical boundaries within reality dissolving. Oh, that sounds terrible. That sounds like a friggin' hellish nightmare. My already tenuous sense of self starts to vanish, which is why I tend to. That's why she's got her little. She's got her little headphones on. That's cute. She protects herself. Being blessed with powers sure comes at a price. Blessing and a curse. Did she always act in such a strange way, or did it develop hmm. after she obtained her? Forte? Chicken and the egg. Forte and a personality kind of situation. She's pretty cool. Oh, she's still she's human. Look at her. She's she's all this nervous and coy. A bit more <laughs> Aww. You're not a robot. You're a real person. Alright, talk back to our boy Zilch. Lastly, it's your turn, Yima. Aside from having amnesia, is there anything else we should I've got a pretty about? great last name. I still can't remember anything. If you really are a master detective, then you should have some sort of forte. Yes. Maybe I'm an amplifier. I make everyone else's fortes better. Oh, young man, are you sure you don't remember? How about the kind of clothes <laughs> you usually wear? Or brands you like? Yes. You only how, how linked are you to consumerism? Maybe you'll remember after a few punches to the Oh, you. You're such a card. Apex, stop that. If you knock him out, he won't be able to speak. The perplexing circumstance we faced may have something to do with his memory. Oh, it's so anime to just, like, have a thing. Like, a highlighted word. And it's just like, can you guys just say the thing? But they always have to put an emphasis. The perplexing circumstance. That's right. I was wondering about that. What do you mean by perplexing circumstance? Because that's Did how people talk. Happen? Well, something unexpected has occurred on our trip. A murder. A murder. The number of people is on. <gasps> yes. The number of people? I, Fuchi, heard from the World Detective Organization that the number of master detectives on the train was precisely five. Mm. Five? Okay, so that's why they were all One, confused. Two, three, four, five. So if, was one of us lying? Six. There's six of us. <gasps> yes. Oh, it's starting, Bo. It's starting, baby. Oh. I also heard from the WDO that five master detectives will gather on board. Hence, why when you called yourself a master detective, mm -hmm. I was honestly surprised. But my outfit fits. I, knew I got that drip. Be easy, but there's already He's the one that stands out. Us. <laughs> this is getting exciting. It's obvious what's going on. There's an imposter among us. Yeah. It's not me. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think... <laughs> Contact the WDO and find out. It could be a mistake. This doesn't seem like an organization I that uh, makes a lot of mistakes. No here. <laughs> Who could the uninvited sixth guest be? Yeah. It's pour, obvious. Just pour this I'm mystery directly into my veins. My amnesia in this situation. Mm -hmm. Could I be the imposter? And I just can't remember? Self-doubt. Classic. Classic. I'm relating so much. All right. I got it. Hey, since you're all clueless, I'm going to tell you my extra sharp deduction. <gasps> yeah. You may speak. I'll allow it. Why would I need your permission? Oh, I was expecting him to call him a dumbass. The way I see it, 
The runt here ain't the imposter. Huh? Look at his shorts. It'd be boring if the most suspicious one is the culprit. Absolutely. The run must have been attacked by the real culprit. Uh huh. The memory loss is a side effect of the attack. And the imposter's motive? Why would they attack you, Lo? Hmm. To pretend to be a master detective and replace the runt on the train. Okay. The plan was going smoothly. The runt suddenly woke up. Mm hmm. He got on the train right before it departed. And the results stand before us. Okay. Obviously, the imposter miscalculated. The runt's yeah. Tougher than he looks. Yeah, I'm a big strong boy. That's in my short shorts. And I thought you'd be the most useless one here. Why? Thank you. <laughs> in other words, <laughs> I was knocked out at the station because someone attacked me? But I don't think I've been injured. Excuse me. I'm just dead. My deduction is slightly different. Lay it on me, Poochie. Let's hear it. I'll allow it. Stop acting like we need to get your permission. <laughs> I suspect that the entire situation is a test designed by the okay. World Detective Organization. I like this too. A test? A WDO exam officer has disguised themselves as a member and is ascertaining our skills here. Cool. If that were the case, Yuma here could possibly be the exam officer. Mm -hmm. An exam officer? But the old man's old. You would have more experience. Bring it on. I don't care I'm gonna punch the mysteries. I'm gonna punch the punch you till the answers come out. Wanna test me? I'll show you what I got. What are you trying to do? For now, I'll check to see if there are other uninvited guests. I wouldn't mm -hmm. want any accomplices lurking about. And how are you going to do that? Like this. Oh, he's gonna use his powers. Awesome. He <laughs> oh, he's so proud of himself. You little dork. What? What was that? A weird feeling overcame my whole body. Mm-hmm. No signs of the enemy. Yeah. Turns out there really are just six of us on this train right now. Um, what did you do? I used my forte. Life, life detection. So that's why you can't detect my ghost friend. I can detect life in a 50 meter radius and pinpoint its location. That's the pretty helpful. It's a trade secret. But I can say without a doubt that we're the only ones on this train. Okay. Talk all you want, but who can verify that you're not lying? We're never gonna get anywhere if you start doubting everything. <laughs> Use your own damn powers to figure it out then. Yeah. Pull that gerbil out of your ass and, and do some reconnaissance. I see. So Forte's come in handy at a time like this. <laughs> yeah, who knew superpowers in would be case, really useful? There's someone else with the power that can confirm if other passengers are on board. Our hearing girl. Don't give me the answers, game. Let me get there naturally. Let me feel like a smarty. Would it be possible for you to verify what Apex said is true? Yes. Use your heartbeat detection. I, Fuchi, was contemplating it at the moment. Even if someone is hiding, my audio aptitude is able to detect their mm -hmm. breathing and heartbeat. Shall I try? Yes, my brain is running. Cylinders firing. Hey, what's with the gloomy Blood little girl? pumping. Don't tell me she's motion sick. She's using her audio aptitude to check if there are other passengers. Yeah. Oh, really? Well, that's great. Go for it. It'll prove I'm right. Shut. Huh? Shut up, you brain dead idiots. <laughs> oh, she's cute. Pardon me. Would you mind quieting down for a bit? I need. Just gonna do the little finger pyramid. He. <laughs> oh, I love the visual representations of all this. It's really fun. He. <laughs> 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 
One of you's about to have a heart attack. Zilch's belongings. Oh, there's there's fun facts. I need more fun facts. I felt it when Aphex used his powers. Somehow, it feels like I can hear what Pooch is. Oh, okay. So he is maybe not like an amplifier, but like a... He can like double things, maybe? He can like borrow? Does no one else hear it? Hmm. So you're going to use these other people's powers and investigate when they're nearby and put pieces together. And then you can, like, validate their their findings. Though one could hold their breath, they still cannot stop their heart from beating. You've obviously haven't seen enough anime. People stop their heart from beating constantly. In other words, or the murderer is a robot. Train. Guarantee it. See? I told you so. Sorry for but what if you're both lying? You know, I'm glad you've confirmed my finding, but aren't our powers kind of the same? I was going to say that, but I didn't want to make it awkward. I can hear heartbeats from 500 meters away. Oh, shit. <clears throat> so you're the useless one. Oh, oh, Apex Logan. Don't call her a bitch. <laughs> you're just, you're just jealous, is all. Moving on, we've now got proof from two master detectives. Mm -hmm. We can say for sure that there are no other passengers. The one but there's gonna be something. Imposter, the other statement can still be trusted. Mm -hmm. One of them, an imposter, but Apex yes. and Kuji both use their fortes. I could feel them using their powers. Yeah, so, so someone who isn't both are master detectives. a master detective wouldn't have a forte, perhaps. So does them having fortes that I can confirm uh, put them in the clear? But I'm the only one who can sense their hmm. powers. No one else seems to have the same experience. Why am I the only one? <laughs> Sorry, I cut you off there in mid laugh, old man. GG. Can you all hear that? The sounds of a running train, the wheels of fate chugging along. In the same Relentless. way, our fate continues to turn. This train will press on until we reach our destination. No mm -hmm. one can get off midway. Including the uninvited six. See, I told you this is the good thing about the the train the train setting is it's isolated. Let's There's no getting off. Us is the caged bird in here. <laughs> My fading detective spirit oh. is revitalized once again thanks to this burning mystery. Not today, death. Oh, he's got cool like lip piercings too. Wow, why is everybody in this game awesome? Not bad. <laughs> Look at that little shit-eating grin on his face. Look at that little sly old man. What could the imposter even accomplish? We're all master detectives here. Mm -hmm. And yet we don't know who the fake one is. I've used my power, so obviously I'm the real deal. The gloomy girl detective mm -hmm. also passes. So can you have a forte without being in the WDO? Like, can anybody just have it and then... You need one to be in the WDO, or does being in the WDO give you a forte? Hmm. So, how about the guy blowing smoke, huh? Why don't you go ahead and prove yourself with yeah. your forte? Yeah, find some animal on this train. Four-eyed fox detective. As I have already explained, my how power involves convenient. Them, I can't use it. So being considered a suspect then hey chef ray thanks man what the fuck are you doing in denver where even is denver i've never i just is that i'm gonna i'm gonna say it's north of here it's colorado okay i thought colorado but 
I don't know anything about freaking Colorado. What what even is Colorado? What are you doing there? Why? How? Till when? You are free to think what you wish. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, I can't prove myself either. Legal MJ. I can't use my powers as a medium. What's an MJ? Two hours difference in time. Till Thursday. We oh gotcha. I thought that was some new sex act that I wasn't that I wasn't uh, on the level with. It's like what's an MJ? It's like what kind of job is that? Mouth job? But why would you say mouth job? That's weird. It, for culinary. Con oh, okay, that's cool. If somebody asked if they wanted, like, if, if I were single and someone's like, hey, how about a mouth job? I'm running away. That person's going to murder me. Are you there for a student culinary competition? Or are you there for a personal culinary competition? I can't prove myself either. Without a dead body, I can't use my powers as a medium. I guess we'll just have to wait for them to kill someone first. How about you, old man? Yeah. I don't mind showing you. I don't bear any suspicions. The sixth uninvited guest could possibly be a traitorous master detective mm -hmm. with their own forte. Okay, I also was kind of thinking that. That's true. There's no way to this. To hell with it. Everybody line up. I'll get you one by one. I kick you all in the crotch until you until you tell me the truth. Oh man, classic stupid stupid like jock logic coming from a Danganronpa S character. I love it. Kids competing. But it was a free trip. Just hated the flight. Yeah, flights suck. I hate. I hate. Flying should be so nice, but it is. It's such a pain in the ass. Calm down. Let's do things logically, like the detectives we are. Yeah, I got a bot now. I've I've learned some things. I I I did a couple things. I got a little bit of a. Let's see if they work. Hey, look at that shit. Look at look at my little bots. Look at them go. I got that's my forte. I can use Streamlabs. <laughs> what else do I got? I got I got a couple things. Yeah, see, I, you know, I've been trying to improve myself, make myself look a little bit nicer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, let's do things logically. We're all detectives here. We're all friends here. I suggest we investigate this, starting with the motive for the imposter's infiltration. Motives always hmm. YouTube the tutorials, motive. absolutely. Motive, okay. One possibility is that it's a test from the World Detective Organization. Mm-hmm. Are there any others? There are. Someone wants one of us dead. You may speak. I'll allow it. Murder is always fun. we we solve things. Why? Uh, th so this is uh, uh, Master Detective Archive Rain Code. Uh, it's a new game um, from the people who made Danganronpa. So naturally, there's going to be murder mysteries. The logic's going to be all over the place. The characters are weird. Um, and you know, there's going to be some. There's going to be some uh, some mascots. There's going to be some mascots. Mm-hmm. Okay, we are riding their train. Okay. Your reasoning? Someone has been tailing me for the past few days. It started after I was first assigned to Kanai Ward. Okay. For 
Wherever I went, I could sense the presence of someone in the shadows, but I could never catch them in the act. Maybe it's just a stalker. It was getting annoying, so I tried to bait them out. I've been known to bait things out. I walked around town in my underwear, and at last, they revealed themselves. Uh-huh, and they were just a pervert stalker, weren't they? Did you just say? <laughs> hmm? Something the matter? <clears throat> Never mind. Continue. Yeah. Murder mystery paragon of traits. And a sexy devil bear. Yep. Sexy devil bear. We got the Monokuma. I don't have my Monokuma mask on me right now, but I I, I love Donganron. I'm hoping this one surpasses surpasses those. You're in the middle of the Hatsuno mayoral election. What a nail biter. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so excited for you. You're close to getting your stylish hat. Never mind. Continue. I avoid solving problems with violence, so I was unable to apprehend them. Why solve problems with violence when you can solve problems with boobs and horniness? Those are so much better. in one of Amaterasu Corporation's cars with my own eyes. Mm-hmm. Why would Amaterasu Corp spy on you? Because they don't want Kanai Ward to be investigated. Mm-hmm. Perhaps this is the same That was my, my floating theory, is that they don't... Some, some suspicious stuff's going down in the Kanai Ward, and they don't want a bunch of master detectives going on there and getting all up in their shit. Which is why I think our uninvited sixth mm -hmm. guest is a spy. They want to. They want to get us out of the way. The spy has only one goal: to disrupt our trip to Kanai Ward. <laughs> Hence, why they are pretending to be a master detective among us. So that would mean, by the powers of deduction, I don't remember what the difference between deduction and induction is. Uh that Amaterasu might also have people with superpowers. Because if they're able to infiltrate our place, they would need superpowers to blend in with us. So Amaterasu are also going to be a bunch of weirdos and freaks in the best way possible. Mm, so you believe Amaterasu is involved? Mm -hmm. Not impossible, though your reasoning is somewhat lacking. Sure. I do not see how escaping in one of Amaterasu Corporation's cars is proof someone is a company spy. Why else would they be in the car? Well, that's fair. Um, excuse me. I haven't Can said any lines in a while. But what's Amaterasu Corporation? Are you kidding me? You gotta explain that too? See, this is why char this is why protagonists always have amnesia, so other characters can explain stuff to us, the player. It's fine. We can teach Yuma as we share information with one another. That's right. All right, so let's uh, let's talk about the corporation. What is the Amaterasu Corporation? In short, Amaterasu is a freaking huge company. Freaking huge, man. Is there? Okay, so there's my there's my log. Okay, perfect, 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 perfect. I'm just looking at stuff real quick. Volume settings. I'm thinking about putting the voices down. That way I have more to say. Because I feel like I'm not I'm, I'm not contributing enough. I can turn them on every once in a while. Settings have been changed. Yeah, let's save them. Yeah, that's fine. I like talking. It's fun. In short, Amaterasu is a freaking huge company. You see their products practically everywhere in daily life. 
They make everything from kids' toys to fighter jets, industrial goods, electronics, pharmaceuticals, everything. Ah, good. Corporations taking over the whole world. Big companies always got dark underbellies. With Amaterasu, where there's smoke, there's a whole building burning down. That's a detective joke. Funny, eh? Uh, sure, I got it. Thanks. Alright, let's talk about Kanai Ward. We're heading to Kanai Ward. What does that have to do with Amaterasu Corporation? It's fairly complicated, but Kanai Ward is essentially an Amaterasu autonomous zone. Previously, Kanai Ward was just another regional city. But as it was being developed by Amaterasu Corps, the city itself transformed. Factories, research labs, and affiliate companies were built. In no time, the whole place belonged to Amaterasu. Okay. As a matter of fact, Kanai Ward is essentially ruled by the Amaterasu Corporation. Ah, corporatocracy. That always works out super well. America. Political power has no influence there. Since it's so isolated, no one has been traveling to it, to and from Kanai Ward. No wonder there's going to be so many murders there that need to be solved. Isolated? Exactly. Because of that, no information has been getting out, aside from rumors of unsolved cases. This has been going on for years, but the unified government has been turning a blind eye to the whole thing. The Amaterasu Corporation's influence affects not just the UG, but the entire world. Given the situation, the World Detective Organization couldn't wait any longer and decided to act. As a result, Master Detectives are gathering in Kanai Ward. That's pure speculation, mind you. We won't know the full details until we arrive. I see. Thank you very much. Thank you. Alright, so... Big corporation that does, like, everything. Created the city. Governments have no power. Information can't get in or out. So there's a whole bunch of shit going down there that needs to be solved. So let's talk about the train. Speaking of, this train is called the Amaterasu Express, isn't it? Yes, the Amaterasu Express is an entirely driverless train developed by the Amaterasu Corporation. The WDO made arrangements to prepare it for an arrival at Kanai Ward. Normally it has no passenger cars for the trip to Kanai Ward, but they added ours as a special exception. It features enough passenger space for all of us in a lavish dining car. Quite the warm welcome. A perfect setup to persuade us nothing is amiss in Kanai Ward. Too bad, I'm still suspicious. By the way, the windows and doors are completely locked until we arrive. They say it's for our safety, but I feel as though we're stuck in a big moving coffin. All the sash windows are sealed so they can't be opened. I, Poochie, confirmed it myself prior to the train's departure. Perhaps these measures were taken to prevent infiltrators or stowaways. Once it's en route, the Amaterasu Express becomes a box that's impossible to enter or exit. Classic. Classic setting for a, for a murder mystery. If you feel up to it, why don't you take a look around? But you can't access the fifth car, the one at the end. The door appears to be broken and won't open. Hmm. Broken? Well, go ahead and see for yourself. Right. Has anything you heard sound familiar? It feels like my first time hearing about any of it. Sorry. I see. It's all right. Just tell us if you do remember anything. Thank you. He seems nice and all, but maybe he's the imposter. Huh? Hmm. Okay, so that... The, the voices don't show up in cutscenes. I feel like I need to fix that. So there's a better way to do it. Because I like talking. Audio language. Dialogue, subtitle. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just turn it up a little bit. And I can just talk over it. During uh, 
normal talking, but I'll keep it, uh, I'll keep quiet during actual cutscenes. And did someone just speak? No. Hey, what's wrong? Hey, what's wrong? You've gone pale. How about, you have something How about you have something warm to drink and get some rest? Although we only seem to have coffee here. I like some good coffee. Yeah. Do you drink it black, or do you need some milk? Front probably wants milk? That's right. You know I want milk. Hey, how old are you anyway? Oh, when they're talking, oh, I don't know what to do. If you guys want me to talk, let me know. But if, if you prefer it, if they do the talking, let me know. I'm not sure how to, how to go through it best. Hey, how old are you anyway? I can't tell from the way you dress. Never mind him. Never mind him. Here, have a drink to warm yourself up. To warm you. oh, thank you. Thank you. Hmm. What was that voice? Am I hearing things? I'm a loony. Hmm. Yeah. Is our ghost the sixth person? Can't save. Okay. Just trying to be safe. Mm-hmm. Six uninvited guests. Anyway. I should think about it a bit. Who is the most suspicious person here? Am I gonna have to make a decision? I can pick me. <laughs> I mean, I think he's pretty suspicious, but I'm also pretty suspicious. I'm just gonna see what happens. Uh huh. It's awfully closed off. I mean, it seems a little obvious, but maybe it's like reverse, reverse psychology. I don't know anything about his powers, so he is suspicious. No matter how much I think about it, we have no proof. If I really am a master detective, I could have some useful powers. We just gotta get there. Yeah. There it is again. The voice. Voice. Jeez, what's happening to me? Hey, Russ. Yes. Get over here. The old man oh, she's she said uh, the Poochie's standing up. She's got cute little socks. What? Zonge? Zonge. Sounds like the name of a disease. What's up? I'm gonna talk to everybody. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so he can take memories and put them onto pictures or something. I wonder if you could fake that. Photography. <laughs> to show what historical figures wore day to day? This one is definitely like the weirdest one, so I'm very, very interested. Make it quick, old man. It should be no problem if you're a real master detective. Yeah, show us the weird stuff. Although I am reluctant show us the gross side of your face. I shall demonstrate my forethink. You've forced my hand. Uh -huh. Otherwise, suspicions will continue to mount against me. Mm-hmm. A forcing mounting. Uh huh. Okay. So we'll know if he's faking it because we won't be able to sense it. Okay. Oh, I like his snake bite uh, piercings. Those are cool. Hmm. He held his cell phone. Interesting. There it is again. I can feel Zonge using his forte. So it's not a trick. As I've said before, my power is photography. 
Project my memories onto electronic mediums to generate and record footage. The recorded clip shows what occurred approximately five minutes ago. I suppose it's faster to simply show you. Do you have to... But it's your memory. You have to be there. I guess you can prove you're not lying about something that happened five minutes ago or something. Okay. Yeah, show, show me what's up. Okay. That's definitely the scene that took place about five minutes ago. Okay, so you can record things even when you don't have something on you, right? Like a recorder on you, but then you can put it on us. Uh, you put it on electronics later. Hmm. Okay. It's definitely the scene that took place about five minutes ago. How useful is this? Okay. Okay. Much like a normal phone. So you can record things just by being in the room, even if you don't have the technology. But you still need the technology later. Okay. Pardon me, but are you sure this is photography? It appears as though you captured footage from a hidden camera. Mm-hmm. Okay, you're also suspicious. All you do is doubt everybody. Be constructive. <laughs> do you think being suspicious isn't constructive? Yeah. Don't you believe that the truth lies beyond all suspicion? Exactly. Yep. A detective's job is to suspect others. We must. Turn things again. My memories haven't returned, and the voices keep getting louder. Mm-hmm. It's giving me a headache. It's like my own body doesn't belong to me. Oh no. Man, are you all right? You don't seem well. Is my I'm forte sorry. that I have a ghost in my body? Busy. I believe you should rest. Maybe a nap will help get your memories back. The passenger rooms from car three and beyond are all full. So you should be full of what? believe there's an infirmary in there. Uh-huh, we saw that. It's easy to monitor from where we're at in the second car. Monitor? You've got some nerve. <laughs> Will you be all right on your own? Or do you need some company? Jeez, get a grip, will ya? Oh, I've got company, all right. Huh? Did you say something? No, it's nothing. I'm all right. I can figure can, I, can, I can walk, like, ten feet. Always fun to just talk to people, see what they say. Oh. Need someone to take you? I'm fine. What do you say? Um, you look pale. Do you need any assistance? Sorry. I'm fine. I can go on my own. You say so. I'll allow it. The infirmary is in car one. Go and rest there. Yes. Okay. Uh. Hey. You don't look so good. It doesn't seem like an act. Go get some rest. Yeah. Everyone seems to be sort of caring right. in their own way. Come on, Ron. You look like you're about to collapse. Go and rest up in the infirmary. S sorry. See, even he's being nice about it. Oh, what a splitting headache. All right, so... Now we're just doing a little examining. We see windows on that side. We see windows on that side. Okay, that was the other one, still turned off. The infirmary should be right here. Wait. It's locked. We've gotta find the key first, the key! The, the key! Where's the key? Is it somewhere in the first car? Maybe... I see, I see. <gasps> It's an uh, if an entire area of a minimap is shining, that means a destination or investigative object is nearby. Take a closer look around. Okay, that's nice. At least uh, you're not wandering around looking at nothing. 
I do appreciate that, you know, not wasting my freaking time. To the restroom. It opens. All right. We got a proper cutscene now. Yeah, we don't look that great. A ghost. Yeah. Hmm. And we've seen the ghost. We know the ghost is cute. Ah. Uh. Hey. Time to get up. How long are you gonna sleep? Get up above before I'll boom kill you. Boom kill. Oh, that's a good sprite. I'm a big fan of that one. <laughs> what a frickin' mood. Huh? <laughs> Adorable. <laughs> it's all shaky roots. There's a big plush one of one of that. If you got like the super deluxe version, that's like a hundred dollars. You know, man, I used to love collecting those deluxe editions, but money's money's hard to come by now. Can't just throw it around like I used to. Uh huh. I agree. It is pretty cute in a, a, a stupid kind of way. Uh huh. Huh? You're a master. Master. Awesome. Oh no. All about how we were so passionately bound together. How cold of me. I've offered myself to you and you alone. Classic. Classic double entendres. We love it. So irresponsible. Take ownership of your actions. Mm-hmm. You stupid baka. I don't know. Of course you forgot. That's part of the contract. Uh huh. You're the death god for free, you know. Death god. You gotta bring something to the table. You're a you're a Shinigami death god. That's pretty sweet. Wait, what did we do to get a death god? A death god? Call him Shinigami. There we go. I know my Japanese anime. Hmm. I've watched Bleach. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone gets a splash card. It does. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's a super cute. Oh. <laughs> Death gods are born. Man, they have a bunch of fun with her sprites. I love it. Okay. Hehe. <laughs> you keep calling me master. Wait, are you haunting me? I don't think servants haunt you unless you are one of those really bad people who uh you know, killed your servants. Then you deserve to be haunted by your servants. Please. Yep, yep. Uh huh. Yes. This feels like one of those uh, create a random D and D characters, and it's like. Your character wakes up with no memory, but 
they've they've entered into a pact with some like unholy thing and they've only got like a week to uh uh to like make good on the deal or or their soul was lost or something but they have amnesia and they can't remember what the deal was or something like that i like it i like so we've got a background mystery to our normal murder mysteries Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Hmm, must have been a pretty dire situation. Hmm, sexy. Maybe we were being hunted, and our memories were, like, a problem. They were putting us in danger. So by trading our memories to to this, uh, we're no longer, like, in danger or, like, a suspect for something. Uh, and we have the, we, we've got a, a friend that's a death god, which seems like a pretty good deal. Classic, of course. That's the contract. It's binding. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, by my account, it's been an hour forty minutes since the stream started. It's been two hours. Oh, it, okay. Not since I woke up in the beginning of the game, but since I've been in this bathroom, it's been two hours. Oh. Oh. Ugh. I'm just a poor, innocent, powerless death god. You can't blame me for problems. That's right. Where are the others? Um, I'm gonna go get my daughter's bottle ready. She's about to go and get her nighttime feed. It's gonna be one second. I'm gonna get the bottle ready. We'll play for a little while longer, and then I'll feed her, and then maybe we can play a little bit more. Give me one second. So let's see why no one was checking on us. What's going on? Hmm. Totally mysterious. Weren't you watching over me the whole time? I can't be separated from you. That should be obvious since I'm haunting you. Hmm. So it sounds like somebody took the advantage. So what happened here? Here's the mystery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, where there's smoke, there's fire, as they say. I am too. I'm ready for the mystery to begin. Yeah. Huh, if only there was some object that I could use that's in the foreground. It's, it's right there. Where is it? <gasps> this thing. I, I can't use it? It wouldn't let me use the fire extinguisher? <gasps> no, Zouch! No! Is 
so that was locked before. So somebody unlocked it. Hmm. So I wonder if I'm like nearby him, can I like use his powers? Hmm. Well, this sucks. I mean, he wasn't Gundam Tanaka, but that that doesn't mean he's deserves to die. Everyone would be dead if not being Gundam Tanaka was a death sentence. Why? Why? Why did this happen? This sucks. That's a There's burnt no boy right there. If you're a detective, you know what to do. Huh? Search the body. Yes. Oh, we're getting into the good shit. Really dead, but checking the body. Uh, really dead? Maybe I should ask for help. <laughs> he looks like freaking Freddy. Why would a detective run from a corpse? I don't know that I'm a detective. Mm-hmm. Well, you sure are one. Otherwise, you wouldn't have asked for help from yours truly. Hmm. The intrigue. But since you've forgotten, I'll be your mentor and train you to be a brave. Yay! Train me, mommy. Ghost mommy. Get to it. I'm really doing this. Oh yeah. Of course. The mystery is practically solved when a detective is first on the scene. Mm-hmm. I'm ready. My brain is pulsing, firing. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, the, this is where the fun begins. All right, let's see here. His little hat's gone with his little ears. That's that's a sad sight. It's completely charred. No breathing, no movement. It's the smell of burnt flesh. Hmm. But through the sheets. That's interesting. So he was laying down first. I don't see any other injuries. Well, except for the burning body. The, all the burns. They, you know, that hurts. The asphyxiation from the smoke. The stab wound, which seems to be in a, in vitals. Hmm. Well, how's our corpse doing? Not well. Dead, without a doubt. You know. The, uh, the state of a corpse is usually only, you know, various levels of bad. Yeah, I, I also thought that. Oh, poor Yuma. Don't be so glum. I'm glad to check the corpse in any case. Mm-hmm. It's not that. I mean, if I'd notice sooner... You have superpowers that made you pass out. It's okay. Supernatural things were at play here. <laughs> Ooh, yummy. Finally a chance to kiss. What's dead is dead. You're the god of the dead. Can't you do something about this? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised you can smell anything over this. Okay, right. Let's get to it. Um, fire extinguisher? Let's check this. Let's check everything in the room. Looks like it's mostly empty now. You opened the lock and put out the fire. That was some quick thinking, Master. And now you can check out the corpse up close and personal. <laughs> Alright, medical equipment. Medical equipment from the infirmary. I don't know how to use it. Even if you did know how to use it, there's no saving something that crispy. Mm-hmm. Just put some just put some eleven herbs and spices on there. It's crispy and serve them right up. The guy was charred black before you got into the room. Okay, an AED. It's the AED from the infirmary. Using this on Zilch now probably won't help. Probably not. You want to use it on that human charcoal? If you did come back to life, you wouldn't be happy about it. Indeed. All right, so let's go. 
Anything over here? Any strange phenomena? Nothing strange over there. All right. Let's keep going. All right. Is anybody else here? Are they all gone? They're all dead. That'd be a shock. Oh, shit. Are they all dead? <laughs> I was kind of kidding. No. No, I liked her. Melanie Goldmine, no. How could someone with your name die? No. Am I going to absorb all their, their ghost powers? Yeah. <laughs> oh, poor Yuma. Friend or foe? Friend or foe? Detect evil. Your friend, of course. After all, you're my master. Yes, we have a great relationship. Servants and masters. Always known for getting along. Where will I go when I die? What happens to my soul? <laughs> yeah, start interacting with stuff. Well, that's me. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So she also seemed pretty burnt. Let's check, though. Now let me all right. Burnt to a crisp. Uh huh. Her fancy makeup. Hmm. So did they die like right after I left? How much? Yeah. Okay. Back to back. <laughs> yes, corpse fish. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I, I wouldn't consider this uh, a fortunate circumstance. Being burnt. Uh, so we're starting to see a pattern here. Usually you 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 die from lack of oxygen pretty quickly. Uh, I think it like you pass out pretty quickly from that and then it's excruciating and then you pass out and then I think you die while you pass out. I think that's what happens when you burn to death like that. Anything else to see here? Okay, so it's got to check if I've seen it. Excellent. There are empty liquor bottles around. All of them apparently had high alcohol content, so good f good for flaming. Could Melanie have been set on fire with this? I don't think it sets someone on fire that badly. Alcohol is the best way to cook the stench out of meat, after all. Yeah. What a rich fragrance! I taste, master. <laughs> oh, you've got quite the humor to you. Okay, in the bar counter. So, some stuff is missing. There are a bunch of liquor bottles on the shelf. Could they have been used to set Melanie on fire? She was literally flambéed with some pricey-looking liquor, huh? Not a bad way to go. That's what you say. Alright, let's keep going. Huh? Oh, did it just shake? Oh. Okay. Scared. What was that? What was that? The lights went out for a moment and came back on. We're in a tunnel. Oh, it got dark outside. What's okay. up in the tunnel? Anyway, shouldn't you be hurrying? You should probably tell the other master detectives. Should probably find the rest of their corpses. Right. That's right. Poochie's coat. A treasured small panda. FK is adorned to the shoulder of Poochie's coat. Oh, I'll have to look for that. Hey, is anyone there? We need help in the first 
Uh-huh. I have a feeling this is going to be uh, a, a, a bit of a bloodbath. I guess there's not a lot of blood, though. Smoke bath? Fire bath? I don't know. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I get it. I'm into it. I'm, you know, take yourself away from the tragedy. Don't look at Yuma's face right now. Ignore that. That excitement. And that's where we're at. We have to find the others. Okay. What? What do we got? Ooh. She looks like a damn statue. Uchi. Cats are getting feisty. <laughs> hmm. Well, huh? we got to solve it before we get before we get off. Mm-hmm. I want to investigate. Let me investigate. Let me detect. Mm-hmm. Well, it seems to be going after people. Yeah. Two of them have been laying down. Although, I imagine Zilch was placed there first. Because he had his own room. So maybe they kind of set them up so there's one in each in each car. Chaputzi's corpse can barely make out what's left of her face. Oh, there is it like a funny thing on her? Okay. Mm-hmm. Yikes. <laughs> oh, Shinigami. You're, you're really growing on me. It's a corpse. Yeah. Um, it's a corpse. Is this Poochie's bag? Maybe there's a weapon for self-defense inside. It'd be good for you to check it out. Uh-huh. Sorry, Poochie. I'm taking a look inside. There's a change of clothes and travel, travel supplies. No weapons. Hmm. It did seem like there was going to be something in there. Uh... No time to waste. So. She didn't have anything to protect herself. It seems like she was lying in bed if the blanket was on top of her. Um, what is that? Pillows or something? More blankets? Hard to say. So if she was killed, the blanket's on top of her, so she went to sleep and was killed after that. A big teddy bear might have been Poochie's personal belonging. You better be careful, Master. Might suddenly start going poo hoo hoo. <gasps> Dong and Rampa reference. It's just a teddy bear. As if something strange, that strange could happen. Cat earphones. Oh, there's the pandas. Set of cat earphones. Cat ear headphones. Poochie must have had a lot of headphones. Well, she needed to keep the voices out of her head. She never took off her headphones, even in front of people, right? How rude. Let's not speak ill of the dead. I'm sure she had her reasons. Alright, next. Anything? Okay, so that... That black gold thing did seem to be like the, the comforter, or whatever you call it. Let's check this. So that was kind of torn off. Whose bag is this? Sure. We're above the law. That we're extra legal. <laughs> we must do it. Break the law. Ooh, there's something on the wall there. Notice. Human resource. Okay, so this is the same note that we got. 
hereby dispatched to the special uh -huh. autonomous region of so he got the same note that we did dispatch duration indefinite, indefinite. use the enclosed ticket to board the mm -hmm. Amaterasu Express to Kanai Wharf rendezvous with the other master detectives upon arrival proceed to the nocturnal detective uh -huh. world detective organization this all seems word for word what we got. So that does leave our lead. Like it gives us a little bit of, little bit of validation, because he seemed legit. Uh huh. Nothing else. Okay. No fun. Oh, look at his little... He didn't get to wear that? Look at that. He's got a little little animal scarf and a little dog face. He's got to be coming back. There's no way they're doing all... They're, they're giving him that kick-ass outfit and he's not coming back. Silch clothing brush. There's some fur stuck in the bristles. Maybe he was a clean freak. Not that it matters now that he's burnt to a crisp. Silch. Animal print glasses case. It's a glasses case with an animal print on it. There's nothing inside. He was wearing his glasses. This probably belongs to Zilch. Right. He was the only one in the train wearing glasses after all. Okay, anything else in here? Seems good. Alright, let's go. This isn't a passenger room. Sign Sign says is backup is control room. Oh, that's right, because uh, it was in the third one. Third car. Anything in here? Wow. It looks like a secret, secret base. Don't you want to destroy these when <laughs> I see them? No. No. There's no one here. So I should go look for help somewhere else. How let's about we check out that machine over there? Yeah, let's you let's look out uh, let's look at everything. Happened. Ooh, ooh, like a map. It's okay. I won't break it. <laughs> Fine. Uh, control device, let's check this. This looks like some kind of control device. It might be dangerous, so I shouldn't touch it. Yeah, you wouldn't want to press the wrong button and cause the train to derail. Why would that be a button? Okay. Intercom? Oh, there's an intercom. An emergency, press the button and speak into the receiver. Uh-huh. No luck, of course. Stupid Coco Head. Yeah, it doesn't connect during an emergency. It's totally useless. Maybe it's because we're in a tunnel. This system was completely automated. A report should have been sent to Control Headquarters about the fire. Mm-hmm. Maybe everyone in Control Headquarters was already dead. And you were the last living <laughs> human in the world. Oh, man. If only. She's a god of death. What do you expect? So this seems to be the map. So that train, I'm assuming we're going from from the left side to the right side because that's like the tunnel. We just got into the tunnel and it's heading towards Kanai Ward. I don't know where we started, but we're getting to our destination. All right, let's keep going. Oh, there's... Lots of stuff to see. Okay. Backup control. What's this machine? There appears to be instructions. Mm-hmm. Backup control system? Backup control. The control system automatically manages the electricity within the train. When the main control system fails, it will switch to the backup system after one second. Okay. So if the main system fails, it'll go to the backup system here. So if this is on, that means the main one has already turned off. Hey, what about the file over here? What does it say? It looks like an explanation about autonomous driving. Autonomous driving, because there's no crew on board. The control system will supply electricity as programmed and drive the train. Okay. But all train cars on the train have motors that run autonomously. Okay. So the control system supplies electricity, drives the trains, but the cars have motors that run by themselves. 
on a steep slope. So it just gen it gives energy to the cars, to the individual motors, and the motors go by themselves. Excuse me. I guess everything here relies on that control system. Mm-hmm. So if you destroy the main and backup control systems, you can stop the train. That's true. Okay. I don't know why we would want to. Because we need to get to Conai Ward. Okay, the control system is functioning. No issues. Mm-hmm. Master. So it said it stops for a second and then switches over? Yeah, we don't want to stop it because then the murderer can get off. We need to solve the murder first. Huh? Huh. What's wrong, Master? I noticed the backup control system is operating. Mm-hmm. Well, it's better that it's running. All the electricity is managed by the control system, after all. Right. Anyway, Master, I'm bored of this place. Let's move on already. Move on because you're bored? <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, let's check. Map. This is the train map. The shining part must be the train's current location. Uh huh. After we exit this long tunnel we just entered, we'll reach Conai Ward in no time. Right. It's been a long trip, but I'm sure it's been a shorter one for a <laughs> certain detective. Oh whoa. Okay, so we are on our way to Conai Ward. I'm gonna go feed my daughter real quick. I will be back. Hopefully in just a few minutes.